you can meet us down there. Potentially. Potentially. Okay, Potentially. Then. We have finished. I did not say adios, afternoon, none of that stuff when I left my house today. Because um, we was in a rush <laughs> to get here on time. And we didn't get here on time, we was late. We was very, very late. <laughs> Every three weeks is not too bad. Although I say every three weeks, I am back here from next week Wednesday. No, Wednesday I'm at Whips, and then from Thursday I am here every day until the f for two weeks. It's gonna feel like deja bloody vu every day. So I feel like coming to work every day, guy. Um, but yeah, that's obviously because my radiotherapy is starting on the fifth finishes on the 18th but then on the 19th I will have my next cycle of Herceptin so yeah technically it's two four weeks every day coming to hospital gotta love that for me gotta love that for me um, we're on our way back now we're trying to decide whether we stop at Westfield and get something to eat I think that's going to be our only option because I don't well it's up to you I don't know what there is. There's nothing. I haven't taken anything out. Well, you just said the only thing is Kome. Kome is not open. I'm not. I'm not taking this out. You know what my legs are like. You say that, son. Oh, it's gonna change. We could have crossed. We could have crossed. Uh, never mind. Oh look, we could have got that bus. Twenty-five to Ilford. Where does it go though? Goes through Hackney? No, I don't think so. It must do. I don't remember. I'm going to have I've to been, look. I've been in it, I think, one time. But I don't plan on really going in it. When did you go in it with what's his name? No, I, I feel like I've been in it one time. I just forgot when. Oh, okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, let's make our way. We'll get on the train and we'll see what the trains are like and then make our decision about what we're doing. Not too long. Alright, let's do this, let's do this. Oh, we've it's ended nice. up in GBK. You, did you like you like that? You said it was good. Yeah, I'm what happy. does it taste like? Kyron, it's like Korean barbecue. The same Korean barbecue that you get from Kome. Yeah? Yes. I'll try. It may be good, but oh, he's doing my head in. Um what was gonna say? We ended up saying rather than going to Stratford and having to get off the train and paying, we said we will stay here. When I opened GBK Ooh, kind of app, it popped up it. and said there was one here. bacon to a crazy. No. Um, and um, we realised there was one literally three, we'll four minutes from where we were standing. So we've come to get something to eat. What? We'll oh, wait. Oh, no. Hold on. Do these come with fries? No, you've got to add the fries separately. So oh, not. you're lying. Yeah. So put it on. Wait, what? Oh, never mind, it's going to be more than I thought fries came with it. They do three classic sides for £10. Can you still get it like that? I don't know. Mm. Um, oh, do you know what? As much as I love this gimbal, it's annoying. Well, that was a very nice little dinner there. Was it not, Kai? It was yeah, nice. Um, our bellies are full, we've let it digest a little. We are now going to try and attack the trains and see how bad the trains are. Hopefully, they will not be, I just realised this is a step down, it won't be as bad as when we were leaving at five. Um, but if they keep giving me these late, late appointments, I might have to do the same thing in the next three weeks because the next appointment they gave me is quarter past four. So by the time they finish, it'll be what time? Maybe about quarter past five, because we was there for about an hour, innit? It's about an hour. So, yeah, but it's been nice. Might as well enjoy the last of the summer weather before it... Don't worry, you're not in a dish view. Before it turns into... Um, what's the word, Kyron? Before it turns into the winter. Yeah, well, it's going to be that. And, um, it's still going to be warm until probably about That is like October. the weirdest tattoo I've ever seen. 
just had a little bicycle. That's cool. There's no tattoo just weird. Anyway. Unless, unless it's like, you know, just okay. Weird, you know, like there's a difference between the difference between what seems like random to weird, you know? There's okay. A big difference. A big, big difference. Anyway, I'm so going home. People to... say you're totally random, yeah, they weird. can, but they can't see mine. Apart from my one on my ankle. Anyway, we're on the, we're on our way home. And my battery is about to die, so yeah, in a bit, in a bit. Say so they types of messages, it's so poetic. There was one this guy, yeah, where he's called his dad by his first name. And he had like it was literally 15 messages mm. of him saying some like insane stuff like so what about all of them like so you've chosen something 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 some stupid little path not like he didn't say that but it was so funny. I must have the video. It was too funny. Right, I'm gonna charge this camera because it is dying a very slow death. But it's been all in all, it's been a great day. It's lovely to spend some quality time with my son. Um, we are back at home now. We're probably not going to speak to each other now till tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No? We sit in each other's, we sit in the room right next to each other because I'm, I'm not always downstairs at the moment. Um, because I fall asleep so easily, it's just easier for to me to be upstairs than to wake myself up and pull myself upstairs. Um, but I'm, jo I'm only joking, Kai. But yeah, it's been a good day. So I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow. I don't know what the plans are for tomorrow. Tomorrow, Kai is not going anywhere. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, we play it by ear because every day has been a different day. Oh, Auntie Landa's coming tomorrow. tomorrow. Auntie Landa's coming to London tomorrow. And I think Uncle Uncle Anderson's coming on Saturday. I don't know what's oh, going on this weekend. Um, He's only coming down for one night. Auntie Landa's going back Monday, I think. That's not just like, man. I don't know, Auntie Landa's going back Monday. So it's going to be a fun, filled weekend. I know what I need to do tomorrow. I need to look up the stuff for your room and my downstairs and figure out pricing and cost. But anyway, I'm going to go I now because it's saying it's four. We've had a good day. I am feeling a little bit achy today. Um, my legs... Is that you, it? No, 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 it's fine because I'm getting the light from you. The, my legs... Oh, actually, now the light's gone off. But my legs are feeling a little bit achy. So I don't really know. I'm going to keep an eye on um, what's going on there. I spoke to one of the nurses yesterday. She emailed the doctors, but they no one's come back to them about no one's come back to her about my fingers, my fingernails, and my toenails. Um, so we just go and play it by ear. We're going to play it by ear. I'm assuming someone will call me back at some point. We hope. We can only hope. But anyway, I'm going to end this here, and I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon. And I am right in saying this afternoon. I think it's about one in the afternoon. It is 12. Oh, 12 in the afternoon. So it's still technically afternoon. It is Monday, 2nd of September. Kite is due to start back college on Thursday. So we are off out today to get him a few bits. Clothing. Shoes. Um, yes, we have left it to the last minute before he goes back to college on Thursday. Um, so yeah, we're going to head up to... West End, whether or not this will be so it's so dark in here because it's so dark outside. Um, whether it's going to be great up the West End, we don't know, but we'll see if we have to make another stop at Westfields on the way, then on the way home, then we will. But we're going to try West End because he prefers the trainers in size, he doesn't really like what's out in JD's and Foot Locker, which is fair enough. Um, so we're going to try size and I can't remember where else, a few other shops that he wants to try. So pray for me as I head up <laughs> into central London. I am currently, as you can see, I am having a hot flush again. I can feel it. Uh, my, 
my glasses are steaming up and my face is getting very, very sweaty. Um, it doesn't look like a great day. Oh, look, you can see my flowers in the background. If I stand by the window, it's nice and bright. Let me show you. It's a gloomy, it's a very gloomy day. It's a very gloomy day in um, London. So I haven't got a jacket with me. I don't think I'm going to need a jacket, if I'm honest, because I can't deal with the extra layers. Um, but it doesn't look like it's going to rain. They said the temperature today is going to be up to 23, 24. So it's warm. It's just gloomy. But anyway, I think some schools have gone back today. I think a majority of schools go back tomorrow. Um, and so I've heard some go back as late as Friday, which I'm like, I don't understand why you're going back Friday. It's one day. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and Kai goes back Thursday. So, and I have got an appointment on Thursday, uh, Wednesday with Dr. Ola, my surgeon. And then I've got another, and then my radiotherapy starts on Thursday and I will be on the go for the next two weeks. So these next few vlogs that are coming are going to be, <laughs> who knows, who knows what they're going to be, but there's going to be a lot going on. So I'm just waiting for Kyron to verify his uni days for his student discount. And then um, we are going to be heading through the door. So yeah, I'll try and remember to take you with me as best as I can. That's what I'm going to say. I'm sat in Nike right now, or Nike right now. Kai's just about to try on a pair of Jordans. Let's sit on that one. Let's sit on this one. Um, yeah, he's about to try on a pair of, what do they, Jordan what? Threes. Jordan 3s. 190 pounds? Oh my god, my head! The is, size. Oh, so you could get them with the voucher? Yeah. Oh, that would be 100 pounds. 100 pounds. No. But it depends. It depends on how it fits. The only thing with those is they're white. Wearing white trainers into winter is kind of low key crazy. In my opinion, anyway. I always go for dark colours in winter because I just feel like the whites get annihilated. But it depends I'm going to leave you to make that decision. I'm not going to lie, bro. Low key. The, the, the Nike that are right now, they're a little bit boring. There's not many trainers out there. There's not much variety. Oh, wow. Well. Guys, we will sit here. I will catch up with you when they come. I don't know how long these trainers are going to take to arrive. Because I've been here for about five minutes. And we still don't see them. We have only got a pair of jeans and a pair of tracksuit bottoms and body lotion. And body lotion. I tell you what, yeah, I used to think my mum was picky. I'm not going shocking. No, 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 I'm not Kevin picky. is picky. You are. No, no, you are, the son. Thing is, I'm willing to compromise. I'm willing to compromise. You can. You can't say I don't compromise. Land doesn't compromise. Land does not compromise. On I've low key. So many times when buying clothes, and I'm like, okay, it's cool. No, I didn't want it, but it's cool. I can use it. I don't mind it. But I do think some guys have a have a bad deal because their clothes are way more expensive than I think ladies' clothes. Women can get relatively cheap clothes and still make them look good. I do think guys have a bum deal. To be fair, um, to be honest, we went looking for trainers, but there really isn't a lot out at the moment. Um, Obviously, I'm low-key kids size, so I can find a lot that I like and at a decent price. Kyron's trainers are ranging from, what, 130? 130 up to, like, 200. 120 to 210. Right, two, two, 120 to 210. Um, and he saw a pair that was two, 210. 
But low key, they did not have his size. <laughs> the thing is, I could have got that six. I fully could have got that six. I think they would have hurt. They would have hurt. I could have made it. Work. It would have been. It would have been very uncomfortable, son. I would have needed a good like, two, three months. Adia, get it ready. I would have needed a good two, three months. Yeah, I just, I mean, they were nice trainers, don't get me wrong. I absolutely loved them because I was the one who spotted them. I was like, but they were a size six and he was, he literally was butting. They were women six. So if they were men six, you might have got away with them. You might have done. No. But either way, he saw a pair of Sambas and the Sambas were nice. I think they were stretched out though. Were they? I feel like they were stretched out because now I'm thinking about it. If that's the only size they have, people would have... Anyway, let me talk to you when I get in my house because there's a few nice people around. We are back home because um, we was on the way home as I was talking to you. We didn't get much. I don't know what Kyron's going to do because um, he's got a few discounts. The thing is, he saw a pair of Sambas, but the only place that has them is size. They're the only ones who do them. So he can't use the voucher that he's got online at size, but he can use it in the shop. So he'd have to go back to size to buy them. Um, I didn't actually get to show you these. The color even needs oh, they're nice, belt. actually. They're a nice color. Okay. Right? But I'm, obviously, I'm going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't have to. They are very they, long, though, Kai. They do stay up. They are very long, though, Kai. Yeah? Yeah, they are. That's why... You gonna fold fold them over? Are you folding them underneath? Simple, just just, just a quick quick fold. Yeah, like a, a little fold, not in big, not in big, not in big. It's a little fold, little fold, little fold. Only problem with that little is the bottom of those are gonna happen to what my jeans. They're gonna get ripped, torn. Oh yeah, that, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay. They look yeah. nice though. Yeah. No, they're just, nice. Just a nice little belt. Good to go. Kyron and his baggy look. Anyway, yeah, but I'm... he's like I said. He'll figure out the shoes. I don't know what he's doing, but he's tired his mother out today. He has tired his mother out today. His mother is fighting for her life right now. I'm tired. My feet are really sore. I am sniffling to high heaven. I actually feel like this Herceptin is making me feel like I've got a cold. It's not good. Um, I'm going to take an antihistamine tonight and see if I wake up feeling better tomorrow, but definitely the herceptin is making me feel like i've got a cold look at this boy do you see this face i'm tired and the thing is i need to go make myself something to i need to have something to eat but right now my feet are like nah mate sit your ass down on the on the bed do not move do not pass go do not collect 200 that's how i feel right now i'm tired so yeah that's the last time i'm doing that again um especially the way i feel right now i'm yeah, it's not. It's not. I think I've done too much. But thankfully, I've not got anything tomorrow. I'm going to rest tomorrow and really rest tomorrow. Well, I say really rest tomorrow. I might just do some drawing or something. But I am going to have a bit of a, a lazy one tomorrow. Because Wednesday, I have an appointment at Whips. 2.30, I think it is. <gasps> With my surgeon. Yes, please. I've got um that at 2.30. And then Thursday, I have Thursday. I have my radio. I'm gonna drink it now. Radiotherapy appointment at eleven thirty. So it's an early start on a Thursday. I don't know what times Fridays will be because they haven't. They haven't. Um, I think I'm assuming they give me my appointment every time I go because I have to go every I have to go for 10 days. Um I think they will give me the um appointment as I go along. So yeah, I'm kind of tired. So I'm going to sign off here. It's been a long day. I'm going to get a little bit of I think I'm just going to have I've got some fish. And a little bit of salad. I'm just going to have that for dinner. Because I'm not really in the mood to cook anything. And it, that's something quick and easy. It's going to require. Fish has already been cooked. So I just need to reheat the fish. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to chill out. <laughs> because. Um, I feel very very coldy. Like I'm coming down with something. It's Oh it's awful. But. 
I mean, it could be that or it could be the flowers because the flowers have been in the house all day and the house has been knocked up. And as soon as I walked in, I started to feel really bunged up. So the only thing I can think of is the flowers. And the thing is, I love flowers, but the pollen, the pollen, the pollen does not agree with me. So, yeah, all in all, it's been a great day. Um, but I am absolutely cream crackered, so I'm going to sign off here and I will catch up with you guys hopefully tomorrow. If not tomorrow, I'll definitely catch up with you Wednesday. Morning, morning, people. When I say morning, it's actually afternoon. It's about half past one. I am getting ready. I'm just literally waiting on the bus. Um, I'm on my way to hospital today. I've got an appointment with my surgeon, consultant slash surgeon. Um, I'm assuming this is just to check to see how I'm healing and also to maybe possibly talk about the other surgery that I have to have. So I'm on my way waiting for the bus for that because the bus comes at particular times where I live. Yeah. Um, so um, that appointment's in the next hour. So it will get me there just before my appointment. So I won't be having to hang around for too long. I really do need to do my nails. They are toe up from the floor up. Um, so yeah, you will come along with me today. Um, yeah, girl, we go, we go wait for the bus and then make our way. And let's hope I don't, because sometimes these buses come too early. So I'm going to keep checking the app to make sure it's not coming early or it's not coming late. So yeah, let me put on, I think I've, I'm literally ready to go through the door. I think I've got everything I need. I just need to, I just think I need to, yeah, let me just check. I've got everything I need in my actual bag before I head out. home yes I seem a little deflated um I went all that way really not to get any kind of resolution um it felt like a bit of a wasted appointment and a waste of my time really um yeah so I've just been told I'm my surgeon's not going to be able to do my surgery for another six to eight months he's going to see me in six months time and hopefully my surgery can be scheduled maybe a couple of months after that which is looking like may of next year um sorry i'm just really hot and sniffly um yeah i don't know i just i kind of think in my head i just wanted to get it all done like so i could move forward um and i kind of feel like um now there's kind of like a pause it's like a, oh, i just i don't even know like i just think emotionally i've probably hit a wall today again was not the outcome I was waiting I was hoping I could have done it by maybe the end of the year um
and I could just start next year kind of a fresh new um yes I know I've still got to go into my hair septing have my hair septing next year But in terms of like, I think it's what's upset me is because I know I still have another surgery. So is that going to delay that until the end of next year? Like, oh, I just, when people say your health is nothing, money cannot buy that. They're not joking when they say that. They're not joking. Like. I had my cry on the way home, I walked home and I could just feel the tears welling in my eyes because I'm just, I'm at a point where I'm like, I can't really, I don't feel like I can really move forward in terms of the other stuff that is in my life in terms of like, it's weird because I don't know if you've watched I don't even know if I mentioned it in my my diagnosis video but where I am currently working I had really last year made it my mission at the end of that last year toward going to the end I was like you know what 2024 I need to be in a new position I need to be out of where I currently work just because of the stress levels I just wasn't enjoying it I was waking up every day feeling very not necessarily ungrateful, but it would be one of those, oh, I've got to go to work today kind of things. And after my diagnosis, it just felt like it was just getting worse and worse and worse. And a couple of weeks before my surgery, well, about, yeah, about two weeks or so before my surgery, I started to feel like I was coming down with something. And me being me, I panicked and I was just kind of like, you know, I don't want to be ill. Um, and they cancelled my surgery because this is just going to put everything back. So I went off. Um, but in the weeks leading up to me going off, I cried every single day. I came home from work and I cried every single day. And I weren't crying because of what I was going through. I think part of it was that. I think I just had just hit my limit. I just had hit my limit. And I just... I just felt like... I felt like it was very unfair. Everything that was going on. Um... And I think for me, because I wanted to change, I wanted to change, I wanted to do something new, I wanted to to go into 2024 and be somewhere new and be somewhere where I felt appreciated and somewhere where I enjoyed and I felt that it was some kind of purpose. And then I got my diagnosis in December and I just kind of just, I don't think anybody really explains to people when you get your diagnosis how you feel like your world has fallen apart and that you no longer have control um, no one tells you how you're going to be scared of making plans for the future because you don't want to make plans just in case you're disappointed like there's so many things um I have tried my hardest to be as upbeat and you know I've had my days but I think today I just was another realization and a magnitude of how much this is consuming every part of my life at the moment I don't know I just I just think I'm one of those people I'll like, cry all out I'll let my tears out I'll let my emotions out tomorrow will be another day and I've got to be in a better mood tomorrow because radiotherapy starts tomorrow so I need to 
focus on that. I just, I feel like right now I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because I know I have to go back to work at some point, but I was kind of hoping I could go back, hand in my res resignation, or when I knew I was going back, start looking for jobs and applying because I thought at least this kind of part would be over. Um, but for now, it's kind of a realisation that I can't. I've got to stay where I am. Because ultimately, who's going to take someone who's still battling cancer in that sense who's gonna employ someone who's still got to have weeks off of work because they've got another surgery and they've still got the growth in my stomach to deal with like if i'm really honest i think that place might be part of the reason why i felt so stressed and as my one of my other consultants said, you know, stress can do some really weird things to the body. And I have been through a lot in the last how many years of my life I've been through a lot. I don't know, I need to figure out a plan because I can't... I don't know. Maybe I'll cry it out and tomorrow I'll have some more answers. But for now, yeah, I'm going to end this here. And I will catch up with you guys tomorrow.